so I'll be using this Triclosiris as my first test subject to see if ethylene increases the biosynthesis of secondary alkaloids of this cactus. So this was originally the girdle girdling experiment, but there is not an increase in mature features and there is no increase in the girth. So I don't think that girdling translates to cacti very well. So I'll be cutting this near the base since it already popped. I'll be cutting it just a flat cut normal and I'll be splitting it in two to have a control that won't be treated and the other half will be the experiment. Here's the flat cut and I'll be cutting this vertically to to attempt to have a equal to have a equal control to the experiment and I would do it I'm cutting it this way rather than trying horizontal cuts I'm cutting it vertically since a distribution of alkaloids near the tip is different than near the bottom and to prevent any other variable like the top portion versus the bottom portion I'll be cutting it vertically so the watery mucus has a interesting tint to it I'm not really sure what that is, but I'll be checking if there's any UV light reaction to it. And here is the cuts. It's cut vertically, approximately 50-50. I'll be allowing this to callus before I actually apply any ethylene to this. I'll be doing this, I'll be running this uh, experiment for a week and then I'll be doing the calculations of the alkaloids to see if there is any measurable distance, uh, measurable difference in a cutting this size so this is going to be a just a proof of concept if there's no no measurable difference i may attempt this in the future again but i expect there to be a difference in the alkaloids so this is going to be the first test. These seedlings are about two and a half years old or two years old. And they're still young, so we'll see. So it's 130, 130 grams total. 113 grams. 117, so there's around a four gram difference between the two and once extraction and drying starts I'll have a weight of each of each section. <laughs> 